And we're back. But now we're going to make a Hello 4. So let's copy Hello 3, make it Hello 4. Now, what we're going to do in here is we're going to make this a totally free. Um, by making it totally free, which is the modern RPG format style, all we do is rather than saying slash free and slash end free, oops, we put star star free at the beginning of the code. We don't need to put it in the text. I'm only putting it in the text so it's obvious to you, uh, dear viewer, what I'm doing. So let's go into Hello 4 and make it proper. So if I delete the free and the end free, and I'm then going to uh, pull myself with Shift F7, which shows me the entire line of code. And on line one and line one only, I have to insert something, which is a star star free. It can be uppercase or lowercase, completely up to you. Let me do it in lowercase. What star star free says is, this is a completely free format RPG program. I don't know why I'm doing like that. I'll put it all in lowercase words. <laughs> I, get, I, get caught, I get caught up with dicking around in RPG. Wait, wait, Nick, I hear you say. Why is it reverse image yellow? Well, it's reverse image yellow because SEU, Stone Age Editing Utility, is so old, was discontinued so long ago, it doesn't recognize any of the modern RPG formatting rules. So a decade ago, yeah, arguably maybe maybe nearly two decades ago. When was it? Early to early to, mid 2000s, somewhere around, somewhere between 2005, 2000. Okay. A long time ago, IBM made RPG fully free and said, right, you should, you should be using rational developer for I, or you should be using Orion, which is the web-based RPG developer, or of course, Visual Studio Code, or a whole bunch of other IDE based editors. Don't use SEU. It's old. It's outdated. It's like programming with Notepad. If you're still using SEU, you're a dinosaur. So we are no longer going to support um, SEU. That's not officially what IBM said, but that's kind of what they said. So SEU just doesn't support any free format code. All of these wasted space at the beginning of the source members we can now get rid of because we're doing it in free format. So I'm going to say tug it all left, 99 positions just pulls all my code in. I also want to convert my um, comment indicators, these asterisks, to more modern slash slash. So when you see forward slash forward slash in RPG code, that means this is a comment. I can shift them all right. You can sort of yeah, you can go in and play around in SEU, but it's just awkward. Awkward. Um, there's my display statement, and I'm saying hello world free. Let's just try and compile this just to prove that I'm not telling you big fat lies. When I try and come out of SEU, SEU thinks, look, return to editing, because it thinks it's full of errors. So it will just continue taking you back in. So when you come out, make sure you say save yes, and make sure you change return to editing to no and press enter. If I look at the code in here, there's my code. Notice that again, by default, SEU is kind of positioned as a character six. Shift F7, Shift F8 is your window left, your window right. Um, let's just try and compile this, shall we? So I'll compile this into Enlit and press enter and it's compiled. Now, let me try and, let me try and call it again. I'll include messages. I'll call hello for, look, it worked absolutely. Because the compiler's modern, the compiler knows that the code is good. Um, the compiler is, is perfectly happy with everything about this source code. It's just the, the code editor, SEU, doesn't know it's any good. So let's go back into this code, F7, and make a few changes. But this is the stage where we're now gonna start moving to a modern IDE. So let me make some code changes in here using SEU. 
you can see how clumsy SEU is. And then I'll make the same code changes using Visual Studio Code. So I know that this is um, a free format. We'll change this to free format uh, with variable. How about that? So let's compile that one. Again, I have to say return to editing, no. I can compile it. When I press enter, it says I'm gonna replace. I say yes, it replaces it. I can go back in and call that program again. And look, it says, hello world free format with variable. Nick, what on earth are you talking about? There's no variable in there. There's gonna be. Let's make a hello five. I'll copy this to hello five. Now, let's open hello five with Visual Studio Code and see how much slicker it is. And I think I'll stick that in the next video. So come back in a second if, if you're still awake.